Hi and welcome to Movies Suck. Well, here we go again, talking about the deplorable, the disgusting, the unthinkably bad, the awful, the words that probably haven't even been invented yet to describe something that is just hideous and gross and so bad that it makes you want to vomit out of your eyes, your nose and any other orifice that could possibly have liquid come out of. I don't think anyone should start imagining that. I shouldn't have said that. That's a terrible idea. What the hell was I thinking? That is so damn disgusting. Which reminds me of Bad Woman again. Yep, Ruby Rose apparently reveals more about her departure from Bad Woman. This is on Bounding Into Comics. Former Batwoman star Ruby Rose is going into greater detail about why she left the CW series after the first season. Rose was a guest on Jimmy Fallon this week, and she clarified she didn't bail out with no notice to producers or the network. Of course she didn't. I imagine nothing like that happened. She didn't suddenly go, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I some diversity hire bullshit? Why am I not, like, achieving things due to my own merit? Probably something along those lines. I didn't up and leave, she told Fallon. We were in such a weird position because we had to shut down before we could finish the season because of COVID. Of course it was because of COVID. Everyone believes you. It wasn't due to all the problems that we vaguely heard about due to all the rumours and stuff that you were a nightmare to work with and that you were having trouble with your injuries and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, bollocks that no one actually cares about. The upside was that she was gone. And then they announced season two. Rose reveals she had a talk with executive producer Greg Berlanti after some deep contemplation while in quarantine. They concluded they had gone as far as they could with Kate Kane, despite the fact that Kate Kane is the one and only in the comics. Yes, apparently, the comic books have been going far too long. Far, far too long. Just like the TV series, they would finished the story at the end of the first episode. By the time you hit the end of that first episode, everything had been told. There was no need to continue making that show, because there was nowhere else anything could go. They told the entire story, there was nothing else to do. I'm in the lucky position that I didn't actually watch every single one of them. Who could? I was actually going to do a review of the whole series, but I couldn't watch the whole series. I just couldn't sit through it. It was hard enough to sit through that first episode, let alone watch all those other ones. Wow, it was goddamn hard, hard work. And I feel sorry for all you poor people out there who did. I feel even sorrier if you actually managed to enjoy that series. I can't imagine there's anyone out there that that applies to, but anyway. I ended up talking to Warner Brothers and Greg and where the show was going and we really just kind of had a really honest good chat where we sort of mutually agreed that Kay Kane and her story and everything, we had done what we set out to do, Rose stated in a disjointed sentence that almost makes no sense because, I don't know, maybe she's not very good at speaking English or perhaps she just doesn't think in joined up sentences, I don't know, but that was a load of gibberish. Perhaps it made a lot more sense in the interview. Oh, how can you have got to the end of what one character does when you could, that people make multiple series? If every character ran out of material by the end of the first series, actually we'd be quite a lot happier and I mean, if Supergirl ran out of material at the end of the first series, that'd have been great, or any other CW show because none of them, with the exception of The Flash. The Flash was doing okay up until season four, but it was doing okay and then it went to shit. Some of you probably think it went to shit after season two. Yes. Oh dear god, that's such a sad thing. Anyway, so Ruby Rose said, we had a bit of a chat, and we all decided that, yeah, we should knock it on the head. And then they announced season two, and we all thought, Jesus Christ, I thought you were going to knock this shit on the head. Stop making Batwoman, or Batwoman, more accurately. It's not a good idea. She then discussed her replacement, Javicia Leslie. Javicia? Javicia? Whatever. Who plays the original character. Oh yeah, because they just had to make someone up. Ryan Wilder. Whom Rose is excited to see. I'm sure she is excited to see because she doesn't have to be in it. She's like, yes, I'm out of that. I'm not going to be typecast as useless diversity hire. I'm pretty sure she's going to be typecast though. And is always going to be a diversity hire. And how is her head so big for her body? Anyway, I had a blast and I do really feel like it was right for the show to pass the mantle on to someone else now. Rose admitted. There's going to be many iterations of Batwoman, and I'm really proud of it and can't wait to watch season 2. Yeah, we all believe she's going to actually watch season 2. I don't know actually, because she comes from the LGBT plus Q alphabet people. So perhaps she'll find enough interest in that series to actually watch it. I'm sure they're just going to make it the same as the last one. Just a whole load of lesbian crap with nothing normal or related to real life in it. Not that comics have to be related to real life. 
not particularly. I mean, people running around with superpowers and stuff, but remember, the Batwoman doesn't actually have any superpowers. She just stole a load of stuff off of Batman. Anyway, she later stopped by Sirius XM's The Jess Cagle Show to chat more about Batwoman. Rose explained her neck injury, often to blame for cutting her stint short, had little to do with her decision. I'm sure it did, actually, because she suffered what, from all accounts, was actually a very serious injury, and they really shouldn't have been trying to get her back into work as quickly as they did. She should have rested up for a lot longer. But, uh, I guess she didn't want to lose her job or money, I guess, is the most important situation she was thinking about there. But they accommodated her as best they could. They really accommodated trying to help me out the best they could. Going back so early, she continued. We wanted to obviously meet to the release date of the show. I think what played a bigger part was more. We got shut down early, Rose added. We didn't get to finish the first season, which is such a shame, especially for a first season show. It's not a shame. That was one of the upsides of Batwoman. They didn't actually finish it properly. Oh, it, it warms your heart to know that they didn't, because it's utter, utter trash. It was trash at the start. It was trash back when they were making it. It was trash every step through, especially whoever wrote the storylines. It was absolute garbage. And then we have series two coming with, well, Black Woman. <sighs> it's an original character. They can do whatever the hell they want with it. And it actually makes more sense because Batwoman feels like a load of made up bullshit just for a particular section of the community. And by that, I mean a particular section of people in the whole world will be interested in watching this. And I would be very surprised if those ratings ever get high enough to actually keep this going. And you know, this picture of whatever her name is, Javicia, is absolutely terrible. She looks awful. She looks really, really, really bad. And the reason why that is such a shame is because she is a very beautiful girl. And then you put her in Bowen's outfit and suddenly, yeah, you're no longer beautiful anymore. You look terrible. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. I got other stuff to do. I'm sure you all got other stuff to do too. Let's just try and forget about Batwoman. Oh, this is Movie Sucks signing out. Leave a like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.